Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve a lead code problem 86 partition list. Uh, given the head of a linked list and value x, partition it such that all nodes less than x come before nodes greater than or equal to x. You should preserve the original relative order of the nodes in each of the two partitions. So, uh, basically we have been given a singly linked list and we are given a node let, we are given a value let's say 3 so we have to partition the, this list in a two uh, uh, in such a way that uh, one like this partition like before partition will have all the values less than 3 and the after partition will have all the values greater than 3 greater than or equal to 3 so i took the same example here for our discussion so uh, here the value x where we want to actually partition the list is given as 3 so we have uh, values which are like uh, we want to find out all the values which are less than 3 so we got like 1 2 and this 2 so uh, how we are going to approach this problem is we will create uh, you know two linked list uh, one linked list will have all the values less than uh, x so one li linked list will have values like 1 then this will point to 2 and this points to node again 2 so this is the first linked list that we will create it has a values less than x and we will create another list uh, it will uh, you know we will like when we are uh, traversing through the list we will get all the values which are greater than 3 so 4 then greater than or equal to 3 so 4 3 and 5 so these values we will find and we have to keep those values in the same order that they have been given to us so we will just put 4 here this is second list we will create so 4 will point to 3 and 3 will point to 5 so this is the same order that we have in the uh, first list that is given to us so once we create these two lists then after the creation we will just for this last node of the first list we will just point to the first node of the second list so that we can get this uh, you know like the whole list here which is 1 2 2 4 3 5 and which will which will just return the head here of this list as a result uh, as as the answer so head we have to return so let's just look quickly through the code implementation so i took cur as the head of the uh, list that's given to us and i created uh, two list nodes head 1 and head 2 and uh, prev 1 and prev 2 i created and i uh, pointed uh, prev1 to head1 and prev2 to head2 and I am traversing through the given list here in, in the while loop and I am checking a value of each each node uh, to the x you know so if the value is less than x then we will append it to the uh, first uh, list so we will just say list node n1 and n1 dot value is current dot value and previous one dot next is equal to n1 and prev1 is equal to n1 so we have to uh, we are just keeping track of prev1 so next time again when we come here then we will have a uh, you know a handle of the previous node here so that's why we are using the prev1 here so similarly we if the value is not less than x then we will just append that node into the second list so here we are doing the creating the node n2 and we are putting the value of the current nodes value to n2 value and we are using prev2 dot next is equal to n2 and prev2 we are creating as n2 so when we uh, come here again then we will have the previous node here so we can keep appending the values to the previous node and uh, previous will point to the n2 after it is done and at the end we will just uh, you know modify the current pointer so it will go to the next uh, node so after the whole loop is uh, done then we will just you know 
we will get two list and we will have to just put the previous ones next to the uh, next uh, the first node of the second list here that's what we are doing so this is what we are doing so we we are pointing this two to the four means end of the first list we are pointing to the first node of the second list so we want to connect it right so we can return the whole list so that's what we are doing and we will just return head one dot next uh, because head, head one is the you know the head of the first uh, list that we have actually so head one dot, dot next will uh, basically point to this first node one here so um, I took like two examples this one is the same example that is given to us and the second also example I took so in the first example we are partitioning on value 3 so as you can see we will get like 1 2 2 and then 4 3 5 so let's just run this so as you can see output we are getting correct output 1 2 2 and 4 3 5 so uh, that's how we partition the list using two lists uh, approach and then we will just connect the uh, these two nodes like two and four here we will connect it at the end so let's just submit this code yeah so the runtime is one ms so the code got accepted so this is how we can uh, you know do the partitioning of the list so we are actually creating uh, just a quick summary we are creating two different uh, uh, lists and we are using head one and head two and for each of these two different lists list one and list two we are ke keeping the uh, previous node using the prev one and prev two so this is required so you know next time we can append uh, the new node value to the previous node so for example let's say uh, this one is our previous node so when we are reading the next value 2 then we need this node you know so we can put the next pointer correctly so that's how we are doing it and we are just simply iterating through the original list and based on the uh, value like less than the given value we will appending to the first uh, list or we will append, it, append the node to the second list so that's the approach we took so um, uh, i hope you like the solution of partitioning list if you like the solution please subscribe my channel and click on the like button and click on the bell icon thanks for watching